But how about uh, more advanced machine learning stuff, more AI stuff, deep learning and all that stuff? Do we also use... Um, yes, reinforcement, re reinforcement learning is uh, considered as a deep learning stuff and yeah. uh, uh, non-short-term memory is considered as deep learning stuff. And uh, I think that's what I, um, you know, I touched in my, uh, in my, pre in my job. And okay. uh, for, some, for something else, I think uh, uh, I use the XG Booster as well. Yeah. Uh, you, if you say something like a pure machine learning, pure deep learning stuff for, for the trading side, um, I don't think there is any successful example so far, yeah. because because I think because of the data itself for the let's say financial service in financial market data are yeah. considered a B two B very noisy data. And uh, it's very diff and the competition is very high. Yeah. So let's say even you find a pattern, this pattern can be filled or can be funds, uh, not necessarily crypto funds, but equity bonds and other financial instruments. Um, as well as I say that the crypto is basically the you know uh, can be can be considered as a currency and a commodity. So right. I needed to trade in crypto and also in FX market. The reason basically is that in crypto side everything is calculated in the USDT USDC. Basically, they are USD with equivalent coins. However, my company is a British company. Yeah. Our clients they deposit the money in the GBP. Okay. That's why I have a lot of uh you know FX exposure. Yeah. I need to trade in FX market as well because uh, you know you don't want to uh, you don't want to go to the client and say well we made you some money about ten percent in the in the crypto uh, last month. However, because of the exchange rate, you 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 lost about twenty percent, and uh, you All know right. that's a, that's that's a big deal. Uh, when you so you know I need to reserve a lot of cash. Let's say uh, my AUM say about uh, is uh, say about uh, is sixteen million GBP. So thirty percent of the reserve 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 in the um, cash that means five million GBP. That means a lot of exposure to GBP and the USD exchange rate. 